There once was a time when an anti-man movement was going on on social media, if I can call it a movement. There was these females who were saying the most outrageous shit about how society doesn't need men anymore. And by society, I mean there's women. Alexa, remind me that I don't need a man and men are useless. When should I remind you? Do we need men in our society? Listen to this. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Honestly, no. <laughs> Do we need men? No. Why? Because they suck. <laughs> Just a reminder for men that scientists have now discovered a way for women to impregnate themselves using their own bone marrow. And the only child that can result from those pregnancies are female. So we no longer have any need for you, genetically or physically. But no one gave a fuck about this because it was clearly two things going on here. It was either females who just wanted internet clout and they didn't actually believe in what they were saying, but they just said it anyway because it would be controversial and give them more views. Or it was females who bought into the idea of modern feminism and they just didn't sit and try to think about what they were saying. Regardless though, I'm not here to prove that society needs men because if you believe society doesn't need men then you need a reality check that I'm unable to give to you or I can give it to you another time but I'm here to show you that later on things got crazier than that men didn't anticipate what was coming next and as a man who believes that we shouldn't be polarizing ourselves for no reason I'm here asking you women please women stop this you another man telling women what to do shut up well i don't know why i feel the need for saying this but regardless of what i'm going to say in this video i'm actually not misogynist i like women as a matter of fact my mom is a woman <laughs> i like women i date women and i love women in general so this is just a guy in his cave trying to point out things women are doing which i consider very bad and harming to the community regardless of how much my ideas and opinions will be generalized in this video i know that not all women are like the ones that i'm going to rant on or show in this video but if you fall into the category of the women that i'm going to talk about in this video then please stop please stop seeing men as your atms you don't know what atm is i will rephrase it please stop seeing men as your cash machine and i'm talking about women like this how much money is in your guys bank account like 1200 like 70k yeah 70k what you mean 70k what do you mean my dad gave it to me you made me pay for all this shit and you got 70k you're in your my boyfriend account. why wouldn't you pay for my things I mean, if you got 70K, I mean, you should be paying for this Yeah, but shit. usually the guy's supposed to pay for the things. It's a serious problem. Like, I'm not even kidding. I paid for What are dinner. you getting mad at me for? That was $400. You paid for my shit. But you got 70K. You're my boyfriend. You're supposed are to you pay for my shit. Me? Yeah, you are my girlfriend, so you are supposed to cook for me. You are my girlfriend, so you are supposed to clean and wash my clothes. How about that? Doesn't sound so funny anymore, right? Hmm? Yeah. It's not funny. So we have girls who think like, oh, a man's money is our money, but my money is my money. And what that creates is basically a generation of these women who think that they can easily go to a restaurant for a date and spend 400 US dollars. And they have the nerve to be like, it's not my fault that you are broke. Yes, it's your fault that I'm broke. I mean, I'm not broke, but with these, I would get broke. We have a trend of women these days who believe that the only way a man can show them that they value them is to spend as much money as they can on them. So that's why we have women who are like, oh, I can't do coffee dates. Why can't you do coffee dates? Well, because they are cheap. The man is not putting much effort. He's not valuing me. Do not go on that coffee date. Do not go on that boba date. Do not go meet that man for drinks. This man saw you and his first initial thought wasn't, wow, I'd really love to get to know her over some dinner and a nice ambiance. He looked at you and said, Duncan, Starbucks. The amount of messages that I get from men that ask me if I like coffee, 
No, bitch, I don't like coffee. You accept a coffee date that actually shows that you accept the bare minimum, and that shows how you see yourself. You would feel worth if a man took you to a dinner where he would spend $400. Is your worth dinner? And we have a trend of women who are like, oh, I'm too beautiful to be taken to a not fancy restaurant. If you want to have a date with me, you can't take me to a relatively normal restaurant. You should take me to somewhere fancy. Right, let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this car. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? In a peace. I'm trying to relax during this video because the more we go into it, the more I will feel more pressure to say things that I will probably regret at some point, but I try to keep it together. You pay for my shit. You got 70k? You're my boyfriend. You're supposed you to pay for my shit. Me? And imagine dating this woman and then at some point you break up, you are left holding the bag while she's financially okay, you get frustrated probably depressed, feel bad, you become a fitness pro because that's what men do most of the time. You want to release everything through the gym. So you join the gym broker. Oh wait, you can't do that either because these women also have taken over the gyms. Now there is no more gym bros, there are gym thoughts. Men don't have any space for them to be just men anymore. You go to gym, you are not allowed to look on your sides or if in front of you there is a woman, then you have to close your eyes. We are blindfolded for God's sake. Why? Because there is always that woman who is filming herself. No, actually not filming herself, filming her butt and her groin. And then she will accuse you of SA, you know, because you are a creep for looking at in her direction. No, I mean, I'm looking at her so that she finishes using the equipment and then I can also use it before someone else grabs it creep feral 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 like fucking feral hmm. these days you can be accused of anything at the gym so you better not go to the gym because there are two things when it comes to this type of women if they feel like something is happening regardless of the logic you can use or regardless of any proof you can present it's happening if she says you are creepy, it doesn't matter how much you are not a creep. If she feels like you are, then you are. You no, know, like that girl who accused the blind man for, you know, staring at her. It's like, how did the blind man stare at you? Well, he's staring at me. I'm blind. I'm standing there doing a tricep push down <laughs> exercise. And since I can't see, I'm just kind of staring off into space doing my thing. Halfway through a set, I start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction, getting closer and closer and closer until all of a sudden, this wound's right up in my face going, I didn't come here to be stared at. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm blind. I say to her. Her response? I don't care. Stop staring at me. <laughs> I don't huh? care. She storms off and comes back with the manager a couple minutes later. I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind and explain to this guy as well, I'm blind. I wasn't <laughs> staring at anybody. <laughs> he says, okay, but you still can't make other gym members uncomfortable by looking at oh, them. Second... If she wants clout, then there is nothing going into her way. Nothing is blocking her from getting her internet clout. And she will accuse you of anything, regardless of how much it will ruin your life. And she knows it will ruin your life. But as long as she's going to advertise her OnlyFans, as long as she's going to get money out of it, she's okay saying that. It's, it's crazy to see how this women will dress provocatively go to gyms or go anywhere and then they'll be like oh you are looking at me yeah let's say i'm looking at you then what hmm? what 
I'm looking at you because you dressed provocatively. If a man would dress provocatively, I would look at him and point at him and be like, look at that stupid man. Think about it. A man is at the gym and he's filming his butt. And then he's like, oh, people are looking at me. They are creeps. No, they are not creeps. You are doing things which kind of is uh, unusual to people. You know, people are there doing their thing, but they see something which is unusual, so they will look at it. Doesn't mean they are creeps. But these women will make you feel like you are a creep, or they will post you on the internet, ruin your reputation and life, because there is always people who will miss the context, or people will just be supportive towards this female, and they will not care about any other counter-argument. There are ones who come to the gym wearing nothing but painted pants, and then when you hold them accountable, they are like, oh, you are a misogynist. So this video right now is blowing up on Twitter. What happened was the streamer uh, decided to spend five to six hours putting on some body paint as pants. Then she went to the gym uh, just to go walk around, take a stroll in a sports bra and in this body paint uh, pantsuit. Someone working out at the gym came up to her and was like, hey, uh, listen, you don't have any pants on. You probably shouldn't be here. And she got offended by that and was like, I totally am fully clothed. Obviously, I have a sports bra on and body paint, so I should be allowed to work out but I don't think she was there to work out. Um, I don't think she was there to do a good squat session, but what do you guys think? Do you guys- Like seriously, fuck you. Hi there, uh, so uh, if you watch this video up to here, thank you very much for watching it. But I wanted to make some sort of clarification uh, after this. Um, so I always do this. Uh, I see things that I think are negative in our community. I point them out. I just say my perspective on them when necessary. And if it's something that you feel like you are interested in, then uh, please remember to subscribe to this channel. You can also become a member of the channel if you would like to. And until the next video, I will see you when I see you. So, see you.